So I get this question all the time in my hardcore world. What mods do I run in order to make my game run smooth and look good? Well, welcome. First, we're going to go over a mod that is extremely handy to have. This is just a mod that literally gives you a tab inside of your menu to basically be able to access all of your mods straight from your game, which is amazing. Another big one that's going to boost your FPS tremendously is going to be called Enhanced Block Entities. If you'll notice that from when I stand way over here, you'll be able to see the chest at the very end of my storage room and still maintain over like 400 frames. Well, that's because I'm using Enhanced Block Entities, which pretty much turns chests into full block entities rather than just regular entities in the game, making things a lot more easier to run. So you'll notice that chests actually have a little bit of an animation when you open them up. The game has to think about that sort of stuff moving forward. So if you want this to be able to run in your game, this is a massive FPS booster right here. The next mod is going to be an extremely fun one. This one's called Fresh Animation. So what it basically does is it adds a little bit more life to your mobs in the game by giving them really cool custom walking animations as they walking around your world with so much more. It also gives dogs really cool animations where they'll be laying down, wagging their tails. Zombified piglins walk around a little bit more lively. Phantoms actually flap their wings. Of course, it does cats as well. You'll see them licking their paws from time to time, like cats do. Over here, you can also see that we got more dogs. A wither skelly right there, shivering. These guys that look like they actually run throughout the world. More doggo action. Panda's not actually too sure. The, the shulkers have a little bit of a cooler animation as well. That and so much more to uncover. Okay, so this next mod I'm going to show you guys is an absolute massive mod. In order to bring life to a single player world and bring all kinds of really cool lore and such. Basically, if you right click the armor stand here, you'll notice that you can equip the armor stand. You can choose different poses for the armor stand, which is absolutely amazing. You can go far more beyond just picking the custom poses that are already preset for you. You can even customize exactly how you want to have the character in. So if you want him to be floating, if you want to push him side to side, you could do all that in the armor stand mod in the interface here available. So just looking around here, you can see there's a little bit of a story being painted. Have you ever had a mob in Minecraft where you basically didn't want it to ever grow up? Well, this mod allows you to do that. By name tagging a mob as a baby, you can basically keep it in that form. You can do turtles, you can do polar bears, you can do cats, dogs, any one of your pets that's in a baby form, you can do. One of the most important and most cool mods that I have in this world are microblocks. This brings so much life to my world, but more importantly, one of the things I have on top of this is called 3D skins. It basically adds a little bit more layering to your skin and to microblocks that you have in the game. So if you look at my skin, you'll notice a few cool alterations. And if you look at my arm, you'll notice it has a little bit more depth than yours does. Well, it just brings out a little bit more detail. I'm going to showcase a few of the micro blocks that I have in the world that are really cool to decorate with. This is a little bit more convoluted to get into your world if you don't use command blocks like me, but you can utilize vanilla tweaks that provides basically a code that allows you to pretty much go on minecraft-heads.com so you guys can basically download all these really cool heads and add them and incorporate them into your worlds. So then again, like I said, this code is provided to you guys by Vanilla Tweaks if you guys get the more mob heads data pack. So you're going to want to do that and then you're going to want to make your way over to the site and then you're going to want to start coding and incorporating this into your Wandering Traders packs. This is how I get them in my world. Have you ever actually wondered how much experience you have and how much more experience you need in order to get to the next level? Well, this experience mod has you covered. By pressing F3 and X, you'll see that down here, it shows me how much experience is needed to go from level 300 to 301, which is 2542. 
This is how much experience I have in my load bar right here. And as I blow up these guardians, you guys will start to see exactly how much experience that I've gained going into the next level. This is one of those things that can really help you out with your curiosity. Also, if you're trying to wonder, if you're ever wondering how much experience you're getting from certain farms, this will give you a really good way to basically try to gauge that. So, this is a really cool mod. See how it stops as soon as I start mending some of my tools? Or, you can see it making some monstrous jumps on its own. This is a really cool mod. Check it out. This is a very subtle change, but a very integral change. I love this change. So it's basically a mod that does something extremely simple. And when you put axolotls in a bucket, it will pretty much show you the exact mob that you have in that bucket. So you don't have to guess and wonder and think about what's what in any of your buckets moving forward. Another big one from Vanilla Tweaks is going to be Endless End Rods. I feel like they have a really nice seamless transition, making a little, little bit more aesthetically pleasing when you're building with them. They're extremely cool. There's also another mod that I'm standing on right after we get into this. But then again, like I said, Vanilla Tweaks, Endless End Rods, just a little bit better, you know? But... You'll notice that I'm also standing on something that may look a little bit invisible to you guys, but it's actually black glass. I use continuity to basically give me connected glass textures, among other things, if you guys want glass that looks this. Have you ever wondered how content creators basically have ground clutter? Well, this is a really big one here. It's called item frame. So just by holding down shift, I can toggle on and off my item frames from being visible and invisible basically so i could place down tons of items on on the ground if i want to add a little bit more detail moving forward you could basically swap these out throughout your world however you see fit whatever you want to do the world's your oyster another absolute boost to your fps and boosting your performance in minecraft are going to be these two mods that i'm going to showcase here it's called more calling and entity calling Basically, what it does is it pretty much makes your Minecraft run a hell of a lot smoother by making certain things come in and out of range. So, you'll see that my charge creepers are not in range. Now, they are in range. Doing little things like this, allowing it where only your player is looking at stuff for things to render in, making it so much easier for your game to practically run at 600 frames, 400 frames plus, no matter where you're at in your world. So, these are two massive performance boosting mods. That so this next one, you guys are actually going to need two mods to be able to basically run, but it's my Sky Pack. It is absolutely gorgeous. I could never play Minecraft without this. It comes with a bunch of different things, such as Aurora Borealis, Tornadoes, Sandstorms, Jupiter, uh, Saturn, uh, a Black Hole, different Moon Phases, you name it. So the two mods you're going to need for this one is going to be Sky Boxes, which is a big one. And this one right here is called Realistic Sky Pack. And I'll have them all linked down below for you guys moving forward. But absolutely gorgeous. So this next one is actually going to be a very new one on Vanilla Tweaks. And it's a huge one. It is Moss Carpet that basically overhangs and over, like dangles down any block you place it on. If you want to place it on Skulk bone blocks you name it it basically comes down a little bit better for better gradients when you're working with moss or anything like that you can pretty much place this on any block that you're able to put moss carpet on and it will pretty much do this draping down effect that you see here so if you've ever wanted to have mossy basalt mossy cobblestone or mossy deep slate i'm gonna kill this uh yeah kill that vein right there boom like that it looks absolutely stunning. I love this subtle change. Not to mention just how stunning this stuff looks like on glass when it looks like actual algae, which is an absolute banger of a detail. Gorgeous. Now, you may have already noticed this already if you guys have a keen eye, but there's two other things that I'm using from Vanilla Tweaks, and that is one... A dark UI, which is absolutely amazing. This makes it so much easier on your eyes. It's called dark UI. Also, smoother font, basically, makes it just a little bit easier for you to basically read what's going on. Looking at my hotbar, you can visibly see 
how many items I have pretty much in my hotbar and things don't look super pixelated. So these two things are two amazing things from Vanilla Tweaks. Again, another big thing that I have, you guys may have noticed, is you'll see that my crosshair is just a tiny little dot. Also a Vanilla Tweak option where you can pick from a number of really cool crosshairs that you may want to have in your world. A big one that you're going to want to have if you're going to be running with the micro blocks like I showed you guys earlier is going to be mob head fix. So basically what mob head fix allows you to do is pick up items without them losing your name. If you don't have mob head fix basically incorporated, every time you pick up a micro block, it will be named micro block or whatever heck it is, and they won't stack anymore. So you're going to want to have that. All right, so that is pretty much all the mods that I have in my world. If this video helped you guys out, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see some more, consider subscribing. Like I said before, I will also link every single one of these mods in the description below, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.